did. I tried to shoot him. But... He did. Relief mingled with shock just moments after a group of men overpowered a gunman on a train from Amsterdam to Paris. French police are questioning Moroccan-born Ayub al Karzani in connection with the attempted attack. The suspect can be seen lying on the floor of the carriage with his wrists and ankles bound. A Kalashnikov rifle lies nearby. 25-year-old okay. El Karzani is believed to have boarded the high-speed Talis train in Brussels. It eventually came to a stop in Arras, northern France. According to reports, he's known to have connections to the radical Islamist movement. Among those who tackled the gunman was U.S. tourist and airman Spencer Stone. The 23-year-old was treated for knife wounds but has since been released from hospital. He, two American friends and a 62-year-old British man reportedly seized the chance to challenge the assailant when his gun jammed. I saw uh, a man with uh, what I think was an AK-47. Anyway, it was uh, some kind of a machine gun or submachine gun. Uh, so my first reaction was to sit down and hide. Uh, then I heard uh, one guy, the uh, American, say, go get him. And I heard another American say, don't you do that, buddy, or something like that. I, I, think, I think that was it. So then um, I decided that uh, perhaps it was really the only time or only chance was to act as a team and try to take over uh, the terrorist. The outcome could have been much worse. France's interior minister said the gunman was also in possession of an automatic pistol and a box cutter knife. Recognized for their bravery, the men who took down the attacker will meet the French president on Monday.